Good evening, YouTube. Today uh, is the day after my 10-day juice fast, which was very successful, very successful juice fast day. I went back into eating food today, which was fun. <laughs> Lots of fun to eat food. Food is fun. That's the trouble. Lots of fun. And I started out the day with steel-cut oats, and I had brown sugar on it, which I love brown sugar. I um, tried to only eat the oats when I, be I realized that I was hungry. And that was my main thing was I only wanted to eat when I was hungry and avoid flour. That was um, pretty much the guideline. And just keep checking with my body instead of saying, oh, well, I need to have something to eat, something like that. No, just am I hungry and what would satisfy it? And um, I had a delicious uh vegetable dish tonight which was made with red cabbage um, sauteed onions sauteed in broth with mushrooms and tomatoes and boy it was so good what else did I have in there that was it oh soy sauce and curry mmm that was scrum delicious and uh, I was thinking about doing rice and um, beans but I really didn't have enough and uh, so I just went to Walmart and got a really small red cabbage and, oh yes, I also got some butter because I signed up for a um, benefit bake um, donation to donate baked goods for a good cause. Um, we're having a some kind of a world something day on um, the Saturday and they were looking for people to donate baked goods and I love to bake croissants and I needed more butter at Walmart. So that butter wasn't for me. This butter's not for you, you know, and it's a good thing. Had to get some nice European-style butter. Um, but one of the things I wanted to report about today, I have fruit flies, <clears throat> that will end soon, shortly, um, was an experience I had. I uh, took my car over to the garage to have it fixed, and dropped it off, and I had my bike in the back, and I pulled my bike out and rode home. And the, and the car was ready to pick up. It was fixed after yeah, a couple hours. So I got back on the bike. It was very warm. It's very humid here in Iowa in September. And I was, you know, riding the bike, but I thought, I looked at the tires, I thought, you need to get air. So I went to the gas station and I started filling it up with air. And I, it, I just it noticed something was funny about the tire. And um, then I, I started to go off and the tire like came off the rim <laughs> so and it wasn't taking air and you know I'm not good mechanically and so uh, I didn't have a bike I locked it up at the quick the um, gas station on, on a sign and uh, I, I wanted to get over there I had to, some stuff to do so I needed to get my car and get back home so I started walking because it wasn't that far it was about mm, I would say a mile and a half maybe two and it was warm. Um, and, I, and I started walking and I realized that I was really enjoying the walk, even though it was very humid. And um, I felt my legs, the fact that there was no fat on my, or not no fat on my legs, but less fat on my legs, how much the muscles were engaging. And I exercise a lot. I I have through the years in terms of walking every day, kind of fast walking, a slow run. So this is a little different because without that extra flab on my thighs, my top of my legs, my goal is so that the muscles were engaged and I was reaping the benefits of that vision that I had to get my legs engaged by freeing my muscles from this layer of fat that they've been encased in and it really felt good it felt like they were really um, tools you know like they were really functioning really strong and f moving me forward it, and even though it was hot and I was walking sometimes I felt like I would want to break into a run just because you know how children just break into a run when they're walking it's just kind of a natural thing to do sometime and it, it's just you know because their bodies are very um, 
kind of pure and clean and to walk or to run it's all the same and and that's the way I felt it was just like and the other thing I was thinking that was like it, w it would be fun to run over there but I had my clunky handbag and because I run that distance every day anyway I was in shape enough to do it and I just kept having these wonderful thoughts about what a blissful realization it is and experience to have your body in such a shape where you could run two miles <clears throat> at a good, pretty good rate, not a fast rate, because I'm not a fast runner, but, um, you know, at, in terms of transportation, and that you could enjoy it, and that would be a way to go, and being in, you know, traffic and going down the street, the idea that your body is a vehicle that can, you know, locomote you forward at a fast rate when it's needed it's a very primary experience and um, really fun. And at one point I was, you know, I kept walking and I was, you know, getting closer to being there and I was walking up a hill and there were no sidewalks there. And you feel kind of silly. In Fairfield there are a lot of sidewalks because they re redo did a big thing in the city um, about seven years ago where they had everybody fix their broken sidewalks. And that was to get people to walk more and so that, you know, this would be a town where kids could you know, ride their tricycles on the sidewalk and moms could roll their strollers and people could walk places to um, get people, you know, that it was pro-pedestrian, let's put it that way. And, um, but at this particular area, there's no homes and uh, there were no sidewalks. And there was a fellow across the street, across the way, and I had my sunglasses on and he said, hi, you know, and I looked over at him. I thought maybe it was somebody I know. I live in a small town, and it, you know, very well could have been somebody I know. But it was just, you know, another guy out for a walk, and that high five you give to an, a fellow bicyclist or runner or walker, in this case, who's experiencing the same, you know, experience you are. You know, it's a little different than people driving by in their car, and there's a certain fellowship. You know, and I think he was enjoying his walk too, you know, and he didn't have a special track suit on or anything. He was just walking somewhere and he had a nice cold drink in his hand. Anyway, uh, so I got over to the car dealership. I was pretty, pretty sweaty, pretty sweaty. I was happy to get into the air conditioning. Happy to get my car that also had air conditioning. <laughs> Great. And then I went back and picked my bike up. But that was just a very nice, um, nice experience. And, um made me want to, you know, I, I felt like I had been on the right track. I felt that once I got the flab off my legs, then I could really start working on mu the muscles and getting them really strong, you know. The pistons. Work on, you know, polishing the pistons. And, um, let's see. So, eating, you know, didn't, I tried to eat only when I was hungry. Um, didn't overeat today. I I uh, had two veggie burgers without rolls, and I put all the fixings on them. I had some homemade pickles in the fridge and sliced onions and mustard and, and uh, ketchup. Uh, and just, I wanted something sweet, so I had a couple of teaspoons of my nice, home, nice not homemade honey, but local honey. And um, so that's it. It was a good day. I got back in. I weighed in today at 123.5, so, you know, somehow magically I gained two pounds while drinking chai and uh, on my, my driving up to, up to the airport yesterday. But, you know, that's just the, the fluctuations. And then I was listening to Joe Cross on um, YouTube just now before I started, and he was talking about water fasting. I think Joe's going to become the, the water fasting um, guy now. He, he was just doing a five-day water fast, which is good on him, as he would say. Because water is just water, you know. It's just water, and boy, it's uh, interesting, you know. I, you know, I'd like to try water fasting someday. Fasting, like he was just saying in this YouTube, it's... We are made to fast, because <laughs> we are made to, you know, get through periods when we couldn't find anything to eat. <laughs> Keep going. And actually, the body likes it. Likes not having any food. Hello, hello, hello. All you pushers of food. All you grocers out there. You know, thanks for sharing. We're great, you know, grateful for you, but we were designed to do without you. 
And uh, sometimes you need to recreate that experience of scarcity because the body really likes it. I mean, it really does. It's like, thank you. It's like they finally get a vacation. Finally a vacation. <laughs> yeah. It has great, great health rewards. So um, anyway, that's it for today. Here I am. It's good to keep a record. I'm writing down what I eat, which is good, so I can remember it, you know, before I do these videos. And this is my journal here to um, just talk about exercise, health, weight loss, diet, ways to, you know, the ways that I have found to uh, navigate these waters. Okay. Bye.